Graham, a great performance and a great three points. What was your take on the match this afternoon? Yeah, tough game. Um, delighted with the three points because you know they're a tough opponent. You can see uh, the quality they have, and they they move the ball well, and they've got some real good threats. But I thought my players had a great discipline and and uh, about their shape, about when to press, when not to. Um, we were hard to to penetrate at times. We defend our box really well, and um, we scored two fantastic goals. You know the. The cross and the header for the first one, and, and and for the second one actually, you know, pretty identical from either side, and uh, impressive finishes and um, another clean sheet. So we're delighted because um, we had to work exceptionally hard to, to achieve it, which we know. Um, but my players are willing to put that work in. Yeah, you talk about work rate a lot, and about giving you the best chance to have give a platform for a performance like that, and the boys showed that. Yeah, look, we've um, we've worked them hard in the in the two week period without with a bit of rest in between. But you know, we, our training sessions always intense because um, you have to play at an intensity and the players are capable of it we're still short of where we where we need to be um, but it will come with time and uh, but while that time is ticking on you need to pick up points and win games and uh, we're delighted with the players because they deserve it they work exceptionally hard off the tra on the training pitch they're, they're, they're together they're a unit and I thought um, together with the supporters today we, we made it a, a brilliant atmosphere today I thought our performance and the supporters back in was, was great to see and, and feel we felt on the sidelines so um, the players are buzzing and uh, I'm sure everyone else is. You're starting to make a habit of that post-match walk around and that connection that you're building with the supporters? Well we've missed them they've been out a long time you know it's uh, it's not something I, I would say happens uh, often you know the, the lap of honour or lap of appreciation I'd call it um, and uh, but it's great to see because you know they stay sometimes play, uh, supporters drift away at the end of games and you know it's one man and his dog but you see how, how um, it, it was like no one went and no one wanted to go so um, brilliant and, and we have to appreciate that and, and thank them for it. And um, but you know, I think you, when you see it in tandem, the, the team and the support working together, then it's a great feeling to have. But we know how hard we have to work to, to maintain that and to, to keep it going. Yeah, is that a performance you'll show the boys next week and say, you know, that's a marker of what's achievable here? Well, we, I'll be honest, we don't really go back. Um, we we, um, we we take the positives when we analyse it, but we we always look to the next game and and we'd rather work on the training pitch on what we have to do we're not going to be you know walking around patting ourselves on the back this week by any stretch yeah, it's it's not the way we want to be we have to keep a balance because we know it's not always going to go our way so we have to be balanced when it doesn't and um, so we can't go the other way when we win but um, the, the the feel good factor the the confidence the players are getting from working with each other every day is is improving and um, you know we know that we got another tough challenge next week as we will have every game this season well done Graham thank you thank you